there's direct exposure for these uh, first responders out on the hill. Dirk Gowans with the Maine Ski Association says this photo of an injured skier taken this weekend at Saddleback Mountain shows the work of a ski patroller in Maine. Yeah, so ski patrol is identified as in the same category as people like EMTs and firefighters and nurses and doctors. First responders like police, EMS and fire are currently eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine. And up until last week, more than 300 ski patrollers were vaccinated against the virus, leaving 125 waiting. 50 were booked for appointments tomorrow at Franklin Memorial Hospital in Farmington. And those appointments have all been canceled. Last week, Gowan says patrol members learned they would no longer get priority. A spokesperson for the Department of Health and Human Services says the decision was reversed because of a limited vaccine supply and low risk of transmission among ski patrol, uh, first something that Gowans disagrees with. What happens if a patroller has to perform CPR? It doesn't matter if you're indoors or outdoors, you're getting direct exposure to somebody who may have COVID. Gowan says neighboring states like Vermont and New Hampshire have vaccinated their ski patrols. And this final group of 125 people are key, especially as the ski season kicks into high gear this week. We just feel that we're just so far behind what the rest of the country is doing. And it's, it's really just unfair and, and, um, and just dangerous for our ski patrollers to be out there uh, without these protections. Reporting for WMTW News 8, I'm Mary-Kate Mannion.